At the end of the topic, you will be able to recognize the formulae of set theory, solve problems using formulae and Venn diagram. Let us inspect some formulae in set theory. For any two finite sets A and B, where N denotes the number of elements, N of A plus N of B is equal to N of A union B plus N of A intersection B. For any three finite sets, A, B and C, where N denotes the number of elements, N of A union B union C plus N of A intersection B plus N of A intersection C plus N of B intersection C is equal to N of A plus N of B plus N of C plus N of A intersection B intersection C. Let us see an example how to solve application problems using formula. In a village of 120 families, 93 families use firewood for cooking. 63 families use kerosene. 45 families use cooking gas. 45 families use firewood and kerosene. 24 families use kerosene and cooking gas. 27 families use cooking gas and firewood. Find how many use all the three fuels, firewood, kerosene and cooking gas. Let F, K and G represent the sets of families who use firewood, kerosene and gas respectively. Now let us write what is given. 93 families use firewood. 63 families use kerosene. 45 families use cooking gas. 45 families use firewood and cooking gas. 24 families use kerosene and cooking gas. 27 families use cooking gas and firewood. We are asked to find how many use firewood, kerosene and cooking gas. This is to find N of F intersection K intersection G. Now let us write the formula. N of F union K union G is equal to N of F plus N of K plus N of G minus N of F intersection K minus N of K intersection G minus N of F intersection G plus N of F intersection K intersection G. Now, substitute the values in the formula. Look at the equation we got. The only unknown is n of f intersection k intersection g. Simplify the equation and find the value. The value of n of f intersection k intersection g is 15. Thus, the number of families who use all the three is equal to 15. Let us now see another example of how to solve an application problem using Venn diagram. In a college, 60 students enrolled in chemistry, 40 in physics, 30 in biology, 15 in chemistry and physics, 10 in physics and biology, 5 in biology and chemistry. No one enrolled in all the three. Find how many are enrolled in at least one of the subjects. Let C, P and B represent the set of students who enrolled in chemistry, physics and biology respectively. No student enrolled in all the three subjects. 15 students enrolled in chemistry and physics. 10 students enrolled in physics and biology. 5 students in biology and chemistry. 60 students in chemistry. Now let us find how many students enroll their names in chemistry alone. For that, we have to subtract the number of students enrolled in chemistry and physics plus number of students enrolled in chemistry and biology from 60. Therefore, the number of students enrolled only in chemistry is 40. 40 students enrolled in physics. In the same way, find the number of students enrolled only in physics. It is equal to 15. 30 students enrolled in biology. Number of students enrolled their names only in biology is equal to 15. Number of students enrolled in at least one of the subject means the number of students enrolled one subject or more than one subject. Therefore, we have to add all the entries in the Venn diagram. Thus, the number of students enrolled in at least one of the three subjects is equal to 100. In this topic, you have learned that for any three finite sets A, B and C, where N denotes the number of elements, N of A union B union C is equal to N of A plus N of B plus n of c minus n of a intersection b minus n of b intersection c minus n of c intersection a plus n of a intersection b intersection c. To solve applications problem based on three sets using formulae and Venn diagram.